Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're using a special Charizard team suggested by Christopher, so hopefully it goes well. Let me know who you think is going to win, and with that being said, let's jump straight into the battle. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cody. So they're going to lead off with Grimmsnarl as I expected, as I lead off with Sizzle. So we counteract the Grimmsnarl lead, which is great and all. Absolutely fantastic. So... Uh, what I'm going to do straight off the bat is I'm going to go straight for that BP or I'm going to go for a U-turn. I may just Swords Dance. <laughs> I may just Swords Dance because they, they might still reflect. If they do, then that's great. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance. I think Swords Dance is a great thing to do. Put some pressure on the Grimmsnarl so they can't sell both screens. And they may actually just let the Grimmsnarl go down to the Bullet Punch if they want to. And they do withdraw the Grimmsnarl though to go into the Arm Rouge, I'm guessing, to get that weak armor straight away. They actually go into Zeb Striker, which is an interesting one. So I should have U-turned there. But that's a nice and shiny Zeb Striker as well. We go for that Swords Dance. And I could Terra Fire here and go for a U-turn. And that would hurt everything on their team pretty much. Or a Close Combat. Um, but I don't want to waste my Terra just yet. Especially when we have got a Switch in. In either Como or the um, Donphan. Depending on what we think they're going to do. I think they're going to go for an Overheat. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my Como. I think that's probably the best thing to do. So we withdraw Scizor after getting a Swords Dance up. I should have gone for a U-turn, really. Um, we go for the Dragoon Switch, Como. Can definitely take a hit from Zeb Striker as they go for a high horsepower, which does a decent bit of chip damage to us. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for that Clangor Assault. I don't see any reason not to because the, the only thing they have really to switch in is Grimmsnarl. Um, so I think I'm going to go for that Boom Burst, actually. They do go for a Taunt. Oh, trying to block the uh, Clangor Assault. Makes sense. We go for that Boom Burst, though. That's going to do a lot of damage to the Zeb Striker. Nearly KOing it, which is fantastic, as we get our Throat Spray boost, which is great. So, now we can just go for another Boom Burst, which I am going to do. There's no real reason not to, okay? There's no real reason not to. They're going to withdraw the Zeb Striker. So, they're an interesting Zeb Striker set with Taunt on there. That's pretty interesting. So, they go into Grim Snarl, which can definitely take a Boom Burst, that's for sure. But how well does it take the Boom Burst? That's the real question. So, it does nearly half. At plus one special attack, it does nearly half. Like, he doesn't even quite make it to halfway. So, I'm going to go into Scizor. I think Scizor is a good play. So, we'll, we'll switch into Scizor real quick. Like so. And uh, we'll go straight for the BP, I, I, I guess. Uh, or I'll go for a U-turn, one of the two. And um, they do go for the Light Screen, though, which is great. Light Screen is going to do nothing against the Scizor, that's for sure. So, now I'm going to go for a U-turn, expecting them to maybe go for a switch out again. But they actually do go straight for the Reflect. Which is fair enough, the Reflect is going to come through for them. We go for that U-turn and that's going to give a bit of chip damage to the Grimmsnarl. Not too much though, that tells me they are physically defensive. Or they're probably mixed defense, um, to be honest with you. They're probably mixed defense, but that Reflect is obviously doing some stuff there. So, what I'm going to do now is, I'm leaning towards... Charizard does put in work against their team, if we can get the setup right. So, I'm kind of leaning towards the Azelf right now to go for a Dazzling Gleam. Since we are choice specs, uh, they don't really have a lot of switchings to... Is Elf. So we could do that, or we could go into... Uh, is Elf not really doing too much for us this game anyway? It does outspeed a lot of the team. If we can get the Grim Snarl out of the way, Psychic really does hurt their team. So maybe it's best to go into our Ninetales. I'm going to go Ninetales. I think Ninetales is a good place. So we're going to good old Q because they can't really touch Ninetales, um, to be honest with you. So we get that Drought up ready for the Charizard to get start get going. Uh, let's go for that Fire Blast real quick. They may go into the Armor Rouge if they are Flash Fire. And if they are Flash Fire, I don't have to worry about it too much. So they withdraw the Grimmsnarl, which is great and all. Let's see what they go into. They're going to go into X. What's X? Uh, that's going to be the Armor Rouge. So they probably are Flash Fire, which is good to know. We go for that Fire Blast. They aren't Flash Fire. And they're going to take some damage. That's that's not, not very much damage. But they are nice and shiny, which is nice to know. So if we assume they're going to go for some sort of attack. I, I, I want to be ballsy and go into Scizor. But then what do we do? So I want to be ballsy. -er. I don't know what to do here. I guess I guess a Zelf could prop a Zelf puts too much work in against their team to be honest with you for me to switch that in. So I, I, I'm I'm debating what to do here. I'm leaning towards Charizard to be honest with you for the Scorching Sands. So I am going to go into Charizard. I don't see any reason not to. If they go for a Psychic, then so be it. But I don't think they will. I think they'll go for an Armor Cannon, expecting us to switch into something to take. Said uh, they go for an Iron Defense. That ain't good. So Iron Defense comes through. We get the solar power damage, which is unfortunate. So let's go for that Scorching Sands first and foremost and hope they don't Terra. So Scorching Sands comes through. This is actually going to do a lot of damage. No way near enough damage. That's solar power boosted as well. And they are weak armor. 
their weakness policy, which is very unfortunate for us. Very unfortunate for us, as they go for a calm mine now. Oh dear. This armor is going to go ahead and set up. Um, we are in a very big pickle, because they are weak armor, because the fire blast hurt them. So we have to be really careful what we do here. So I'm going to go for another Scorching Sands, just to get the damage off. There we go. Bit of damage. Not too much, not too much. They go for the Stored Power, and that's going to take out Charizard. So Charizard doesn't get to do anything in this game, because that, that was abysmal. That Scorching Sand Power was abysmal. So we know we outspeed it with a lot of things, but what do we do here? I'd say Donphan's probably the best for the EQ, but they could very well Terror. So we might be better off not doing that. I am going to go Donphan, because I think it's at low enough HP where it's like it doesn't really matter too much. If they Terror Grass and we Earthquake and then they get a weak armor, then we go for an Ice Shard and take it out then because it'll be Terra Grass. So let's go for the EQ with Donphan. They go for a Lava Plume, which is definitely going to take us out nearly. Gets the Sturdy going. No burn. No burn, which is great. We go for that EQ. That's going to definitely take them out. And Armor Rouge goes down. So we sacrificed our Donphan's 99% of its HP so that we could KO the Armor Rouge. But it came through and Donphan did good there. Donphan did real good there. So Zeb Striker comes in. That can easily finish us off. No problems there. So let's go for an Ice Shard just first and foremost. Um, just so that we can get a bit of damage off on the Zeb Striker. Um, and then they'll get some Rocky Helmet Chip as well if they go for the high horsepower. So Ice Shard comes through. No damage really. They go for a Trailblade. Oh, they, they've got Light Screen Reflect up. That's why... Duh. That's why the Scorching Sands did no damage to the Armor Rouge. Because of the Roots Light Screen. I always forget about the Light Screen and Reflect. I don't know what it is. Um, but anyway, the light screen does wear off now, which is great and all. But what do we do? They probably have Supercell Slam. They've got Taunt, Trailblaze, High Horsepower, and they probably have Supercell Slam. So I'm going to go into Como. Como can take care of the Zeb Strike pretty well, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go into it. And uh, I am going to go for the Boom Burst, just to get the damage off, because they might think we're going to set up a Clangorous Soul, but I'm not, because they have Taunt. <laughs> so they go for the High Horsepower, and unfortunately they miss... Which is going to cost them a little bit in the long run because now my Como has got a bit more health to play around with. So Zeb Striker does go down, which is great for us. Um, now, however, they can pretty much go into anything they want to finish us off. And I would say they probably go into the Grim Snarl to get the uh, Light Screen back up. Petrunt comes in, which is an interesting one. So Petrunt is here. Now, what do we do? Do we go for a Clanging Scales or do we... Because I feel like I need to attack this thing right now. Como is not doing too much for us anymore. So let's go for a Clanging Scales. Why not? Let's go for the Clanging Scales just to get the uh, damage off on the Petron. There we go. It's a little bit of damage. Not too much. Not too much. And they go for a Parting Shot, which is going to lower our offensive stats and give them a free switch into whatever they want to go into. So Petron does go back to Cody. Let's see what they go into. I'm leaning towards the Inteleon or the Grim Snarl. I think Grim Snarl makes more sense because it, they're probably going to try and sell their light screen and reflect again. Um, they do go into Inteleon though, so Inteleon's probably going to try and take us out with an Ice Beam here. We could Terra Normal, but is there any point when we've got such low HP? Um, I think personally I go into Ninetales. I think Ninetales is a good switch. Lower their lower their water power. At least said fire power then, but <laughs> lower their water power. So that would be great for like Scizor and stuff. So we're going to QB real quick. There we go. Not the best switch into a water type I know, but... We get the sun up, which is going to lower the power of their water type moves. They do go for the ice beam, though, which is fair enough. That's going to do note to uh, Ninetales. And now we can go for, straight for a solar beam if we want to, or we can go for a fire blast. I'm leaning towards a solar beam, just, just because. Why not? So they go for a snipe shot, which is going to do some... Oh, it KOs us with a critical hit. That's a high crit rate move, so I can't really fault them there. Pretty awesome crit for it, for the Inteleon to get there, though. Nice and shiny as well. I love shiny Inteleon. It's so cool. So... Uh, what do we do here? Do we go into our Scizor? I am leaning towards the Scizor. I am leaning towards the Scizor just purely because unless they get a crit, we should be alright, to be honest with you. So I am going to go for the U-turn just to get as much damage off on the Inteleon as possible and because they may go into Petron here. So they go for a snipe shot. Do they get another crit? No, no, no crits, no crits, no crits. We go for a U-turn. That's going to do a lot of damage to the Inteleon and we're going to go on back. That sun being up, lowering that snipe shot's power is definitely helping us out here. Now, the question is, do they have Dark Pulse? 
Um, I think we go Como. I'm pretty confident Como can live an Ice Beam from this thing because it has some natural bulk to it. So I'm going to go ahead and go for a Clangorous Soul here. I think. Am I going for a Clangorous Soul? No, 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 no. Because the Ice Beam will do enough to the point where we won't be able to go for Clangorous Soul. So it makes more sense to go for a Boom Burst just in case they go into the... They go for an Air Slash. Interesting. So that's not going to do enough damage, but it might flinch us. If it doesn't flinch us, we go for a Boom Burst, take out the Inteleon. There we go. So that's great. Great and all. Down goes the Inteleon. Now they have Grimmsnarl, Petrarunt, and Lucario. It's looking like a pretty close game. So we'll go into Grimmsnarl now. They all go into Grimmsnarl, sorry. And they probably set up the light screen, which makes sense. So I'm going to go into Sizzle real quick, expecting that. And I'm going to go for a BP. Now the reason I'm going for a BP is because it'll still take out the Grimmsnarl even behind the Reflect. It should do anyway. Um, and I'm pretty sure they go for a light screen. I'm pretty sure Sizzle does outspeed Grimmsnarl. Pretty sure it outspeeds Grimmsnarl. So we can get the leftovers boost now, which is great. Give us some more HP back. And I think Sizzle is going to be the MVP of this game. I really do. So let's go for a Bullet Punch first and foremost, because I do think we outspeed. We do. Bullet Punch comes through and KOs the Grimmsnarl. No Reflect for you, I'm afraid. The only problem we've got is that Petrarunt. That Petrarunt, we can't take it out with Scizor. But it can't really do anything to Scizor. It can't Malignant Chain it or anything like that. So it's a bit of a predicament that we're in. I'm hoping they go Lucario here, but they don't. They go Petrarunt, which is fair enough. Petrarunt comes in. Now, what we could do here is we could go for a uh, Swords Dance. Swords Dance BP. Because if they parting shot, we'll be golden. Or we can sack off Como. Because Azelf kind of goes through their team right now. Let's sack off Como because I don't I don't want to get any unnecessary damage on Scizor because we may need it for later with our Bullet Punch. It's one of the only things that can really switch into Lucario safely. Um, so we're going to you. They go for the Hex, which is definitely going to take out Como, unfortunately. Down it goes. But Como did pretty good this game, I will say. Did a pretty decent job. Pretty decent job of it. So now we can go into our Azelf. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. And you may have noticed neither side has terrored yet. That's not a prearranged agreement. We just genuinely haven't had a reason to terror yet. Well, that's something to keep in mind. So now, I'm going to go for that Psychic. Because it should take out the Petra run. They can't switch the Lucario in. They have to terror here. And they have to hope we're not choice specs. Um, but we go for that Psychic. That's going to definitely take out the Petra run right now. Because it's choice... Even with the light screen, I know that. But I thought it would definitely KO. But Malignant Change comes through. It does poison us, which means the Poison Puppeteer is going to come through right now. Poison Puppeteer comes through. That's going to confuse us. So, huh, great. So now what do we do? So the Harsh Sunlight does fade. And the Light Screen doesn't wear off. I really thought that even though Light Screen was up, Choice Spec Stab Psychic from an Azelf would take out a non-specially defensive Petron, you know? I really thought it would do the job, but I don't want to risk the confusion right now. So I'm going to go into my uh, Sizzle. Sizzle's a pretty good switch here because we can take a Hex, no problem. And we can go for a Sword Dance, which is great. So let's go into Nairu real quick. Uh, out of Nairu into Sizzle real quick. Like so. Crimsonite comes in. They haven't got Reflector, which is great. So now they go for a Hex. That is going to do no damage, which is great. So now they have the Parting Shot pretty much. They either have to switch out or go Parting Shot. I think. I think. I think. The Lucario is probably going to have extreme speed, by the way. So we need to be very careful here. Um, I am leaning towards the Swords Dance, but I'm also leaning towards the Bullet Punch. I'm going to go for the Bullet Punch. I think Bullet Punch will KO. We go for a Bullet Punch. Should do a lot to the Petron. It does KO with a critical hit, which is... You know what? You got a crit against my Ninetales, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> uh, that's just the game we play. I'm afraid Sizzle could be the MVP of this game. Could be the MVP of this game, to be honest with you. It really could. So in comes Lucario. So Lucario, depending on the set that it is, if it's Terra Normal Extreme Speed, we are golden right now. Because we can just go for a CC. Let's go for the CC. This is the only way we win. They go for a close combat of their own. Is it going to KO us? It doesn't KO us. Sizzle Clutch hanging on like an absolute legend. Absolute legend that it is. We go for the CC. And as long as they're not Focus Sash, which they are. They're Focus Sash Lucario. Are you kidding me? What's with all the twists and turns this game? What's with all the twists and turns? That's awesome. That is awesome. So now we just have to hope that extreme speed doesn't KO us from here. Which it might not, to be fair. 
and we go for the bullet punch. Please don't be upper hand. They're gonna go ahead and Terra Normal, I'm guessing. Is it, is it Terra Normal? Is it Terra Normal? Terra Normal. So they're going for the Terra Normal Extreme Speed, hoping it KOs. And the fact that they weren't Life Orb and the Focus Sash, they haven't got extra power, so I'm wondering if this is actually gonna KO Scizor or not. Because we are max bulk invested. It does KO the Scizor. Ooh, okay. So Scizor does get KO'd here. The light screen wears off though. Not that that matters. We go into a Zelf, and I think we lose to Extreme Speed Lucario here. What a comeback for Lucario. What a Lucario comeback. That's pretty awesome. I like that. That's cool. So we go for a Psychic. Just why not? They go for the Extreme Speed though. That is definitely going to KO the Zelf if we live on a sliver of HP for whatever reason, which we don't. But GG Cody, that was a really fun one. Really enjoyed that game. It was really close. And there's some twists and turns there. We've got a crit on your side, crit on my side. Got to have a little bit of hacks in my battles versus Cody, though. That's that's for sure. So GG, Cody. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.